Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Laurie. I'm so excited to have you here today. Today I wanted to cover a couple of different tips. First of all, I was going to talk about fringing. Look how cute that is. And I'm going to show you some tips on fringing and also some tips on cutting the make yourself at home blocks. There's a couple of special trimming blocks that we like to uh, demonstrate here today. But first, we need to give away our uh, prizes for our winners. I, last week there was a contest and if you entered in the contest you get to be one of the lucky winners of these cute Hello Pillows. They're the Bench Buddies from our Make Yourself at Home collection as well as the tea towel. Super fun! And these were made by us right here in our lab so that's kind of an extra special thing right there. All right, you guys ready for the winners? Drum roll! Okay, Mary Ann Collins, you are a lucky winner. Yay! Yay, Mary. <laughs> Way to go, Ann. The second winner is Beverly West. Oh. You are our second winner. Thank you so much for joining our contest. Congratulations. Entry. Yes, congratulations. So if you guys would mind giving us a little message saying that, uh, just give us a private message and we can get you these, the information that we need in order to get these to you. I'm going to set this down here so you can see what we're going to do today. All right, to start off with, I wanted to show some fringing techniques. And right here, I still have the Julie's lamp. This is the top part of Julie's lamp. And there's a bottom piece to Julie's lamp. And as you can see here in the quilt, here's the top piece and here's the bottom piece. And they are made, this one is just pieced together. And this one right here is done in the hoop. And it features the polka dot glitter. Look how cute this polka dot glitter is. And I've been working on the fringing and I wanted to show you a trick. Now there's a reason why I like to leave it in the hoop and do the fringing. And I'm gonna show you this little trick. So um, I've already cut along the first layer of fringe right here, those bobbin threads. And then I've also got up to here and I quit right here because I wanted to show you if it's in the hoop, can you see how easy that is to just, versus trying to hold it and you would have a little tiny piece of fabric to hang on to and trying to do that. So that's one of the reasons I like to do it in the hoop. Now, if you can see right here is where we just trimmed. I take my seam ripper and I do it from the non-sharp side and then I just kind of, kind of just scratch it if you will. It's kind of like you would scratch it with your fingernails and you can see how easily that came loose. Now what I like to do is make sure it's all clean. I'm gonna give this a little hairstyle, if you will. You see that fun? Give it a little hairstyle. It's like sticking straight up now. That's what we wanna see right there. And I'll let you know why we want that to happen. I'm gonna pop this out of the hoop really quick first. And of course, we have you tape it down when you're doing it in the hoop. I'm gonna get the tape off. And then we've used tearaway stabilizer, which is also what we recommend using. Now this is a fibrous tearaway. And the reason I like the fibrous tearaway is it really holds those stitches really well. You can use whatever kind of tearaway you would prefer or works well for you. I have asked, had people ask me why I like this particular type of tearaway. And it's just that it holds the stitches really well for me. All right, so now that we have this out of the hoop and I've giving it a little hairstyle and brush that up really nice. What I've got to do is I've got to hold all of this fringe out of the way so that we can cut and we can sew. So what I like to do is I take a little ruler here and I just kind of push it one direction and then hold it right there. And I get a piece of Kimberbell tape and I push it down right here on the glitter. Don't, don't tape down the ruler. That won't be very helpful. <laughs> And then once I push that one piece of tape, I add a second one, which holds it really well out of the way. So now you can see how easy that was to hold all of your fringe out of the way and it's not gonna get caught or cut in the seam or in when you're trimming. So what I'd like to do now is show you the special trimming. So we're not centering this guy right here. We're actually going to bring the edge of our four and a half by six and a half orange pop ruler so once you've placed the ruler, I double check by counting. Always measure twice, cut once, that's a good rule of thumb. So now that we've got that placed where we want, we're going to cut it. 
And I love the rotating mats for this very purpose that we can just cut. And we'll cut there. And our last cut right here. And voila, there is your inside piece. And I do like to keep this uh, tape on my fringe, and here's why. When you go to this piece right here, and you're gonna attach these, because this is now four and a half wide, and six and a half long, and this is, you can see it's kind of just the opposite, or excuse me, six and a half by eight and a half, and this is four and a half by six and a half. You can see how fun that is, and look at that, it just fits right together. So when you go to stitch this, you're gonna lay it right sides together, just like that, and when you put it in the sewing machine, you can see you've got a full quarter inch that you can use right there, and the purpose of the fringe being taped out of the way you can see right over here, if the fringe were taped out of the way, you can see the seam. But once that uh, seam has been done, this fringe flips over and it hides that whole seam. And I just think that's so fun. That it, and it just looks like a real little fringe lamp right there. And then you can add the pull with your twine and just turn that little light on and off. Isn't that fun? So I'm gonna pull this tape off so you can kind of see when this has got its quarter inch seam right here and actually will be right up underneath right like that and you can see that that fringe will overhang that whole seam and it hides the seam it's really cute when it's all finished that is julie's lamp how fun was that now i wanted to go over one other really fun way to cut um, one of these other blocks and that is ryan's tree Ryan is our Kimber fellow. We love having uh, these just special blocks after the people that work here. So Ryan's tree, if you notice, I did not add the twine or the quilt because I wanted you to be able to see the space that's between the two trees. Now there is a seam, it's really hard to see because it blends so well, but this is one block and this is one block. And as you can see, we're trimming closer to one side of the tree to allow that space so that when we hang these up together, there's a fun little space for that quilt to hang. So what I'd like to do is, I'm gonna pull out Ryan's block. Now here's the key. It says to do a three quarter inch and three quarter inch in when you're cutting. So basically what that means is you're supposed to cut three quarter inch from the one side and three quarters inch from the bottom. That can be really tricky. Like trying to measure three quarter of an inch here, three quarter of an inch here and get it perfectly straight. But don't worry, these orange pop rulers are just wonderful for this, you'll see why. So each one of, I don't know if you can see, there's a quarter inch, a quarter inch, a quarter inch, there's quarter inch markings, markings all along this ruler. So I use that to my advantage, and three quarters would be three of these, so I count in one, two, three, and I line my ruler up, and I'm using my four and a half by six and a half ruler on this first part and I count up from the bottom, one, two, three. So there's three quarters of an inch, there's three quarters of an inch, and I simply nest my two rulers, just like that, and pull this one out. Ready? Okay. So I pull out my inside ruler, and then I just simply cut, and I love my rotating mat, and I cut, and two more. and pull right, pull that middle right out. It's a perfect cut every time, and what I love is it's got that three quarter of an inch on both sides, just like it needs to have. So I really find that these are an essential tool. Get your orange pop rulers, they really make, make yourself at home fun and relaxing to do. Thank you so much for joining, and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.